Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. A couple of words. Chairman of the Brook Seaway Board of Directors. Oh, Thank uh, Deb. Love them anymore. Um, listen, I want to echo what's been said this morning. Thank you for being here to support uh, the 12th annual running. I've been asked to give a very brief, uh, I'm talking about 30,000 foot flyover, uh, on the history of how this all started. Of course, just by the name, I think you have a, there's so many new members here who haven't necessarily heard it about the beginning. Some of you have been with us for 12 years, you know exactly how it happened. Um, my son was um, on a snowmobile and he pulled away from shore on an icy lake. And three kids come drag racing down the, the lake and uh, they T-boned him. I often thought about split seconds and he left the shore just a split second before those kids would have passed behind him. And one second delayed, he would have passed in front of him. Let's say with my accident, my car, not my car, but our car. And um, had I reached that light a half second earlier, I would have been through before that guy ran the red light. And I guess life was made up of half seconds. Well, this is one which particularly uh, touches me because uh, my son, Brooksy, uh, name's Brooks, but we call him Brooksy. <laughs> He's named after me, and uh, his middle name was after his grandfather. Uh, Stuart, and so we're down in Florida a number of years ago. Uh, I lost him back in 12, so it's been, been a few years. Um, and we're walking into town, uh, Sarasota, and Brooks leans over and he said, Dad, you think maybe I'd get into politics too? And I said, well, I don't think so, honey. I took care of that the day you were born. He said, what do you mean? That's why I named you Brooks, right? <laughs> Your mother named you after her father, Stuart. Well, who's gonna vote for somebody named B.S. Patterson? <laughs> That was the last conversation we had. But anyway, unfortunately, on that night, uh, we lost him. Um, I don't want to go into it, I'll end up crying, but um, it was a terrible loss. It's the kind of call that none of you want to get in the middle of the night uh, to go to the hospital. And uh, I, know I don't want to go into it. I, I got to tell you this, though, the impact of that, of that loss has been life-changing in many respects, at least among them. I don't find shows like Cold Blue, whatever they are now on TV, all these medical shows, I, th I don't find that entertaining. <laughs> I really don't. It's reminiscent of that night, and, and how can I make that into an entertaining event? I don't know. But anyway, this is entertaining, uh, this race. And um, we, um, I given my state of the county address on February the 7th, I think that year, of uh, 2012. And uh, my son was in the front row, and he said, Dad, I want to run in that race. I said, it's great, because you're young, strapping kid. And then three days later, two days later, he was killed. But because he put that seed in my mind that he wanted to run in the race, uh, I brought this race committee together. Most people just introduced been 20, 30, 40 year friends of mine who are all runners. And uh, I thought planning a race is pretty simple. You put a couple hundred friends in, in the field, you fire a gun, everybody runs like hell. No, no, there's a lot more involved than you all know in the background of planning a race. And we have a staff of, you know, what, what are we up to in volunteers now? I'm sorry? What are we up to in volunteers? 200 volunteers. 200 volunteers and plus staff and so on. And just to put it together, and then we were always waiting there, like you throw a party, you wonder if anybody's better come. And then in the morning, we used to see car lights as far as you can possibly see runners coming to the race. And um, so I, I didn't have a hand in it, but I really do appreciate it. Uh, the committee, um, I was still, you know, in the grieving process, burying my son and so forth. Uh, the committee named the race after Brooksy, and I, I didn't resist that at all, I thought that was appropriate. Uh, certainly not me, it's after my son, who was going to be one of the first racers to sign up. And that's the background, uh, and one I'm particularly proud of is what I heard Deb say this morning, we give them back to her in $60,000. Because this was a sporting event to begin with, and a health event, running and jogging is a healthy endeavor, obviously. Um, I wanted to promote more healthy events in Oakland County. So any place we can find where somebody applies for a grant or a group or a committee or whatever, up to $2,000 and we evaluate each one of them and say, okay, that, that qualifies, that's an event that's going to promote the health and well-being of its membership, of its community. And I, I'm not naive, uh, we've been in this now 12 years. I don't know that the money donated back has had the impact that I'm looking for, which is increasing public health and awareness, but I think after 15 or 20 years, it'll be an appreciable uh, amount of increase 
health uh, awareness, health activity, health improvement. And it's all about improvement. Because when you're healthy, God knows you got quality of life. So um, that's the background, and I want to thank you all. Who I see great. I don't know what's our name and people, but uh, I, uh, you know, we're going to sell tattoos and raise money after the year program. <laughs> and uh, with the uh, it's it's just been a labor of love for me, and uh, I thank you for your support. Well, one last thing. I think I really have to say, well, first of all, Claire and I uh, were in their lobby, and I want to thank them for their uh, ongoing, very generous support. Right behind them is Kroger, and I read in my notes that not only Kroger has been with us now for supporting the half marathon, but very soon you'll be able to pick up a, a uh, race form, race application, in any Kroger store. Uh, I think in Southeast Michigan, the entire state. That's state. Tire state, which is great because if you add up all the drug stores and gas stations, there's more Kroger's. Okay, so that is a great outlet for us to put So thank you, Kroger, for that effort as well. Thank you all very, very much. See you in September.